Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and share, and do all that cool stuff. So I kind of left my documentary painting little project abandoned for a while, but I'm gonna take it up. In that process, I was painting two paintings, and here's one of them. And I'm wearing this wig to kind of match this doll's hair. And the documentary is all about how gender and color and toys should not be assigned to each other. So make sure you watch them all. Rewatch them just to see how the process goes. And it's kind of cool just to see how they started, how they evolved, and like now to the finishing touch. This is her finished. Uh, her name is Molly. And I love the hair, of course, especially the bottom part. The background is very intricate and it's very layered. If you watch the other videos, you see how it's progressed so much and it's how long it's and how much it's changed and I've added and taken away and a lot of the ideas I liked and I didn't like and I would keep what I liked and got rid of what I didn't. The eyebrows are funny because it reminds me of this picture that I saw and how girls are overdoing their eyebrows. If I can find the picture I'll leave it here so you can see it. I think eyebrows are a thing of this year and I think thick eyebrows are very much in and I wanted to for this painting to capture that eyebrow movement we have going on. I had a friend told me that the nose she didn't like that it was too forced a little bit crooked and it just didn't look like it fit naturally with the painting and I politely disagreed. I love the nose I feel like it's what makes my doll stand out the fact that their noses are triangular and you know the triangle the triangle has a lot of meaning especially in religion the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm not a very religious person, but I did grow up in a very religious home as a child. So I think maybe that's the reference. I've always liked these little schoolgirl outfits with the little white collars. This was a canvas that I had done a Jackson Pollock piece with my students when I was a teacher. So it has sentimental value because this their work is behind this and it's visible here on the edges and I love patterns so there's pattern everywhere there is some reference to another artist who I will not speak of because he said I needed to stop mentioning him so much but anyway that's another here or there but a very cool part about this painting is what this does when there's light behind it I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the video I'll turn this one off but if you put a light behind it it becomes translucent See, like, no light, light. I don't think you'll be able to see that in the video, but it's a very cool effect. Let's turn this back on. But yeah, tell me what you think. I really love this painting. I think it's probably my favorite of all the dolls that I've done. And the reason why I've done so many, like, reaction videos to music now is because when I do all this painting, I'm always listening to music. Music is what inspires me to paint, it's what it motivates me to paint, it's what keeps me painting. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't paint for that long. Let me show you what the other one, because this is a two-painting docu-series, because I always work on various paintings when I'm painting. So when one is dry and I go to the next. Now let me show you what the other one looks like. It's still not finished. We'll set her back here. So this is the other one, and this is very Gustav Klimt inspired, and I want to keep it that way, but it still needs a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. And now let me show you the very first doll that I painted. This is where it all started, and I, I love it. I like where it's taken, and it's evolved into someone else. It was inspired by someone's work, but it, I think it's taken off to a different thing that it's completely mine, and I like that. And I like this because this is just where this idea and this concept began. But anyway, that's all for this part of the docu-series. Make sure you watch part one through part six. This will be the sixth one, just so you can get an idea of the progression and how they began into how one of them's already ended. And, and stay tuned so you can see how the last one will look like. And make sure to watch all the other content in my channel as well. And leave your comments. I want to know what you think. And until next time, adios y bye.